Welcome back to Marathon Infinity. I'm Admin 1 of any effects, and we are on level 7. Acme Station. Now, this is a notoriously difficult level. Even the mighty Ryoko TK has complained about it being unfair. Because you have dwindling oxygen, with a bunch of enemies, and of course, since it's a vacuum, you can't use your assault rifle. So I can't guarantee a smooth playthrough. There'll be a lot of deaths. Let's see. Oh, Durandal. I'm going to cheat right now and uh, use the pause button so I can read this without losing oxygen, because I'm a jerk. But then so is this level. This is a scanning buoy in a deep Lawan orbit. The station is obviously not a four construction, but they are using it for a sensor relay station. You must destroy three panels at key locations around the station to cripple their warning system. You'd better hurry up, because you will run out of oxygen if you take too long. And I'm only willing to transport you to transport you two to oxygen recharge canisters. Otherwise, we might alert the scout ship that's been tailing us for the last several years. And if that happens, you will be spending your time drying out in the glow of Lawan's sun. When you're finished, come back here. Then we go atmosphere surfing. So it looks like this is like a sketchy map of where the locations are. So I just took care of one of those locations. Destroyed one of those stations, I should say. But it doesn't seem to indicate where on the map we are. I could try and figure it out. So, I think I see what corner we're on. Okay. Oops. Jeez. All right. So now we have a safe point at least. But I don't even know if I could make it to an oxygen tank in time at this rate because there's just too much happening jeez all right i'm just going to try to avoid more of that it's a dead end i should also point out that this is the third level in the marathon demo and I don't distinctly recall beating the level. I might have, albeit on a lower difficulty level, since I was a kid at the time. But if I've beaten it, I've certainly forgot how. And I probably did it through so much trial and error that I hardly really learned anything at all. There's a flechette, however you pronounce it, thing over there. <sighs> now I'm going to die from lack of oxygen. There's the old man groan. At this point, I'm just going to revert back to an earlier save. So that I can start the level over again. No wonder they call this chapter Rage. But 
That emotion is quite easily elicited from the very first level. How do I get over there? That's the question. Now I'm going to try more just simply avoiding him.
I just don't get anything. If this could lead to an oxygen tank or something, that'd be great. Oh my fucking god. So sick of these narrow corridors where you can't fucking dodge. I guess now I'll have to go look for a oxygen tank first. Another? Okay. Now I'm in a better position. I want to save again. Okay, I think this is where you get a oxygen tank. I'm not, I'm not even going to read that terminal. That's stupid. It's probably some four bullets and message horse waste anyway.
Goodbye. Ha, there. Don't want to deal with that. Now that I save again. nice, but I don't know how worth it that is. I probably just wasted some oxygen. Revert to that er earlier save game. There. Jesus Christ. I don't understand I'm supposed to do this.
Yes, here we go, finally, holy fuck. Okay. I'm gonna hurry back to that save point. Of course, now I have low shields, but at least this seems somewhat manageable. Okay, it looks like this should be where I need to go to. Shit! Try and explore around, see if there's like she's more juggernauts. Yes, made it for the next one. I, just, I want to see if there are, like, shield capsules anywhere. Fuck. Shit. God. How am I supposed to make it this way? See, and I already used up both my oxygen tanks. So I just don't see how this is supposed to do me any good. Well, I guess the good news is that that area isn't really essential, so... After I die, I'm gonna go back and I'm not even gonna go to this part. Goodbye. I'm just going to... Do the best I can, hit those switches, and then get the fuck out of here. This dreadful level. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Oops. This is probably the most I've ever said fuck in a playthrough video, huh? Alright, that's one. Up next one. Damn it, that's the tough one. Maybe I should just do that one first. Get it out of the way. Oops. Wrong. I didn't mean to go there. Okay. I didn't need to do that. Okay, that one's done. Next one should be slightly easier. Alright. Fuck! to do this. Can I please get out of here? God damn. Why me? Okay, so it's because of this time around I forgot to do that. Okay. I'm going to cheat once again. So it says, well done, it's old hat from here. Bernard was constantly having me do redirect subterfuge work back on Mars. It was easy then, and it's only gotten easier. Somehow the four have built a ship even faster than mine, and it's hiding out now over the southern pole of Lawan, waiting for us. I guess it's Captain underestimated the sensitivity of my sensors. The four have been following me around for the last several years, trying to capture the ship, or perhaps wondering what I'm up to. Lately, they've been staying very close. They know I'm onto something. Anyway, get back here and get strapped down because our captured four scout ship wasn't designed for comfort during high speed atmospheric excursions. We're going to give the four a surprise. I 
Barely made it. Hey, why aren't these monsters responding? Oh well. So now we're on level 8. Post-naval trauma. I'm not certain, but I have a feeling that the worst part of the game is over. By which I really mean the most difficult part, because... I did kind of appreciate the challenge, even though I clearly got annoyed and frustrated at a few points. But unfortunately... There's still oxygen troubles. We're still constantly losing it. God, this is so stupid and annoying. Does it feel good to be back? You will recognize a distinctive flair for decor that just screams galactic arm. This is the massive armor platform of the Loan Naval Unit, a required complement to any planetary naval force. It's extremely handy for putting down groundling revolts, but without a native population to oppress, there isn't much action here. The four use it as an orbital repair and reservice station. Boomer's forward batteries have slagged engineering and ruptured the hole for you. That's a good start, but now it's your turn. More than half the four armored vehicles are docked on the ship. 
You must destroy them all before my humans can begin the ground assault. Juggernaut shields are typically powered down during repair, so you will find the fusion pistol very effective. You might also want to spend a few seconds thinking about explosions in small spaces. Return here when you're finished to transport out. But where's the oxygen? How am I supposed to survive like this? Alright, I'm done for now.